EFTP. In the Joint Cycling app, you can see EFTP in your profile in the Training Statistics Overview. This is your estimated FTP. It's a calculation of your FTP based on your training data. The basis of the calculation is your actual FTP. The more accurate and up-to-date you have tested this, the more accurate your EFTP will be calculated. The most accurate method to measure your FTP is an exercise test with a lactate measurement in a sports laboratory. However, a 20-minute test is also a great alternative. A 60-minute test or a time trial should match your FTP perfectly, but you need to be very experienced to pace this properly. With a 12-minute test or a so-called ramp test, you're done quickly and the repeatability is great, but unfortunately determining your FTP becomes quite inaccurate. To keep your zones accurate, Joint schedules a 20-minute FTP test every three months. So, the starting point of your EFTP is an FTP that is accurate and preferably not older than three months. Then, based on the power data you provide, it detects if there are any intervals that warrant increasing your FTP. That's not all, because not every workout is a test or contains all-out efforts. This is why JOIN also models how a regular workout affects your FTP. This uses all your available training data in addition to your power data. It is important to stress that EFTP is a calculation. It does not take into account whether you have eaten bad or had a bad night's sleep, for example. In practice, your FTP is not the same every day. Yet, you don't have to adjust your FTP every day to match the shape of that day. So, you don't have to change your FTP based on your EFTP. In fact, in training, you try to do your intervals within certain ranges based on your FTP. On a good day, this will be in the higher part of the targeted zone than on a bad day. If after one and a half or two months you already have a much higher EFTP than your entered FTP, a deviation of more than 50% for example, you might consider doing a 20 minute test a bit earlier. This might be the case when you have started to train much more from an inactive lifestyle. On the normal training conditions, Testing every three months is more than enough. If you don't have a power meter or don't know what your FTP is, JOIN will still estimate your FTP and EFTP based on your training data and profile settings. In that case, bear in mind that the accuracy of your FTP is many times less without a properly measured FTP as a starting point. If JOIN has little training data to analyze, the calculation of your EFTP's development is also much less accurate. All in all, we are very proud of the EFTP calculation in JOIN. With a good input, we found after much testing that our method is very accurate. If the data used in the calculation is of a lower quality, the calculation will be less accurate. So when checking your EFTP, always take into account whether it is based on the FTP that is accurate and up-to-date and how rich the training data is that you have provided.